Welcome back, chaps and chapettes. Uh, we're going to be going through the decoder now uh, and how it works. This is part two. Um, how does a decoder work? So let me explain that to you. The idea is um, <clears throat> we've got these lines here, so they're all running separately, one uh, space in between, and each line um, represents a number. So nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, all the way down. Um, Obviously, we want 10 numbers displayed at the moment <coughs> for our seventh segment. Um, and the way this this decoding information is, it comes in here. So this is our input for now. It doesn't have to be a lever. Obviously, it could be a memory cell or a timing array or something like that. But that's uh, for another video. So our input comes in here. It turns off the redstone on the top. And then it's turned this torch on here, as you can see, and it's powering purple. And purple is our middle two pistons. Uh, so if we come around the front, uh, as we can see, we've inputted zero. Come around the front, and we've got a zero because <coughs> the torch setup is only powering these middle pistons. Um, and that is the idea for everything down the line. So if we move on to one, um, we've got this set up of torches so there's pink black green blue and purple powered and then red and yellow aren't and the reason red and yellow aren't powered is because that's what makes up our one uh, if they were powered <coughs> these pistons would be pushed forwards and we wouldn't see anything at all so all you have to do is just work out the combination of torches down the line uh, for the decoder so um, we're going to build it now and I'm going to show you how to do that Hawkeye. Um, this is what you need to start with. I'm not going to build this uh, in front of you because as riveting as it may sound, it's probably a little bit unnecessary. I will explain it though. Um, <clears throat> each coloured line obviously is representing a segment uh, in the display. So the yellow here is our top right two pistons and we've got redstone leading off and down. And then every other coloured line is exactly the same. So red, bottom left pistons, blue, bottom centre, etc, etc. So you have to separate them out and bring them down um, to the floor here. And what you've got to make sure is you've got this gap in between each one. Otherwise, you're going to get unwanted crosstalk. Um, now, I've put the repeaters in here just to guarantee that our signal will always get there. So if it's more than 15 blocks um, <coughs> from its power source, it's not going to reach the top, basically. Uh, so I think this is just within... This pink line here is just within the uh, maximum range. <clears throat> so that's what you want to do with that. I put the repeaters there. You don't have to, but just make sure that the power is actually getting to the pistons from the decoder, which is going to be built here. Now, um, so that's that. And there is no brilliant way of building these lines down, by the way. Um, fortunately, it's the messiest part of the whole build, but there you go. Right, so building our decoder... We're going to start here. Um, one block, miss that out. And then two blocks stacked on top of each other there. Um, and then all you've got to do is just run the blocks across those lines of redstone like that. All the way to the last line here. Um, then you can put an extra block there. Knock that out. And then put a torch like that. Um, <clears throat> and then a lever for now. Uh just while we do this. Um, so this is going to be our zero. I mean, you could have this as nine. You could have it so that your decoder counts down or whatever order you want it in. But for now, obviously, zero, one, two, three, four, etc. So we start with zero. <coughs> um, and we're going to run redstone across the top here like this. And then, depending on which segment we need to uh, remove at the front, we're going to put a corresponding torch down. So for zero, obviously, we need to remove this segment. So we've got to power the pistons behind it. And that's obviously this purple line here. So <clears throat> we follow the purple line down. And then we put a torch above that purple line. So what that means is when we flick our switch, it's going to let the torch turn on because of this inverter. This is inverted, so this is now off, which has allowed our redstone torch to come on. And then it powers the purple line. So if you come around the front, as you can see, it's pushed in our middle segment and given us a zero. And that is the idea for the whole thing. So as you work down the decoder, 
um, you do exactly the same thing, just depending on what segments uh, you don't want to display, basically. So this is going to be our one. Uh, cut that out. Redstone torch. Redstone on the top, which I'm about to run out of. <clears throat> um, and then we need to work out the torches. So again, go around the front or you can draw it or whatever on a piece of paper so you can have a look. Um, and we need these to be displayed, obviously, for one. So we've got to get rid of pretty much every other segment on the board apart from the two on the right here. So yellow is this one and then red is this one here. So we don't want to power red and yellow because we want to keep these retracted and we need to power every other segment <clears throat> on the display. So just put a torch down for every other segment apart from red and yellow. And then when we power uh, that line in the decoder, come around the front, and we've got ourselves a one. Um, so I'll just quickly do two so you can see another variation. But hopefully by now you should understand how the decoder is working. And obviously you just stretch it out for however many numbers or different bits of information you want to put into a decoder. Obviously this is not the only use for a decoder. Um, say if you wanted to make a keyboard where you can display uh, like a QWERTY keyboard. Um, you could use this exact same system, but obviously you wouldn't be uh, putting the torches down to display numbers. You'd be running it into a kind of pixel display rather than a seven segment, uh, which is a bit more complicated, but it's exactly the same idea. Um, so very useful. So for a two, we don't want top left and we don't want bottom right. So we find out which color that is. Red, bottom right, and then top left is black. So we don't want red and black. So a torch above uh, black and a torch above red on our number two line. And then when we flick number two, it powers red and black because we've got the torches in the right place. Come around here and there's our two. Uh, so hopefully you guys should be able to understand that. Um, as far as decoding it so that you can push the segments out over here. So if you wanted this pushed out uh, display instead of the... Um, retracted ones what you have to do is instead of putting a torch down when you don't want to see a segment you actually have to put a torch down when you do want to see one so for this you need to put a torch for the top segment that segment blah 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 etc rather than it being the other way around so you're just inverting what you do on the decoder if you wanted it that way around uh, so that's just a little note for you there um, so hopefully that sorted you guys out and you understand how decoders work now um, like I've been banging on about, if you want to come on the world save and check out the different types, um, you're more than welcome to. And this little fella, me Piston Memory Array, that is going to be coming very soon. So uh, yeah, that's it for today. Cheers for watching.